Changes in crops are a significant factor in limiting yields in Nebraska. Treatment is often most effective when diseases are identified early and correctly. Organized in 1994, UNL's Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic helps farmers diagnose plant and insect problems. Market Journal's Curtis Harms has more. Just as medical doctors diagnose patients at clinics, experts at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic diagnose plant and insect problems. These diagnoses can help farmers manage crop health. On average, the clinic receives nearly 1,200 plant and insect samples a year. Kevin Corus is the coordinator for UNL's Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic. He says the clinic is open year-round, but the lab is busiest during the agricultural growing season. Being here in Nebraska, I think row crops are probably my most common plant. Um, I see a lot of corn and a lot of soybeans in here. Early on in the, in the spring, I'll see a bunch of wheat come in, um, some sorghum diseases, but mostly corn and soybeans. The Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic is broken up into five labs. The Disease Diagnostic Lab, the Insect Lab, a General Horticulture Lab, a Weed Science Lab, and a Nematology Lab. For a small fee, anyone, from farmers to gardeners, can submit a sample. UNL Extension plant pathologist Tamara Jackson Zims says the costs associated with properly diagnosing a crop disease can pay off when making management decisions. It's one of our most common diseases right now in Nebraska corn is Goss's wilt. And when people were first becoming familiar with it, many of them were spraying it with a fungicide and sometimes a second application, spending upwards of 25 to up to $50 per acre, and then learning later that it was a bacterial disease, Goss's wilt, that couldn't be controlled. And so we could have saved producers potentially thousands of dollars with a 40 or $50 diagnosis up front. While the lab may be able to answer questions on plant health, identification, or insect information, there are a few services that the Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic is unable to provide. The clinic does not provide mycotoxin testing. We can identify there, and our diagnostician can identify the organisms growing in, say, the corn ear or the grain, but we can't tell you whether or not the toxin are being produced, only speculate. We can also not diagnose herbicide contamination problems. Those advanced tests require being sent off to another lab for advanced testing. Samples can be delivered to the clinic in Lincoln personally or through the mail. In addition to the plant sample in question, it may also be a good idea to include a healthy plant for comparison. Samples should be fresh and include as much information as possible. The best sample is one that is just beginning to show symptoms or having several plants showing a continuum of different levels of disease severity from very minor to very advanced. Most of the time, if it's feasible, we want you to, to collect the entire plant. A dead plant is probably not a good example. Once, once you get your sample collected, it's, it's very important to put it in a, a sealable plastic bag first. A lot of people will put their samples in paper bags, um, which we don't recommend because uh, they'll dry out. Treat them like you would the produce you bring home from the grocery store so that they're in good condition and we see them as fresh as possible. We ask that you ship it early in the week between Monday and Wednesday so that it gets to the clinic before the weekend and it doesn't sit over the weekend in, in a UPS truck or a FedEx truck or something like that or the U.S. mail. For more detailed information on how to properly submit a sample or for more information on the Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic, visit pdc.unl.edu. You can also call area code 402-472-2559. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Curtis Harms.